actually make it as a posable mannequin to work with in the studio. Long story short, that didn't work. Next came the base suit, which is a snowsuit I found at the thrift store and is just spray painted silver. Um, something I thought was absurd until I read in Fashioning Apollo that's actually what they did with the original Mercury suits. Um, this suit really is just hap dash everything that kind of looked the part and worked. The harness is made from a um, baby carrier that I also found at the thrift store and just cut up and modified um, to work for this purpose. These parts added here um, were just generic strapping from other things. The part where it comes down and actually hooks around the leg um, are dog harnesses <laughs> from the dollar store. Um, the wrist links down here are um, plumbing parts, um, just PVC pipe fitting. Um, the connectors here uh, up top are uh, PVC as well. These ones are actual 3D printed um, based on the original Apollo suits. Uh, vacuum hose. Turn it around here. Just a little extra bag with some more fittings put on here. Um, you can see I sort of made this uh, gasket out of EVA foam to better fit the suit so there wasn't this much space between it. Since I was using an existing suit, I couldn't properly sew that transition between the helmet and the suit at the time. Boots. Also just snow boots from the thrift store, just painted up to look apart. Same with the gloves. Just winter gloves with the padding removed to make them a little bit more malleable. Um, and for the silicone fingertips, these are actually just uh, bolt covers um, put over the glove. Again, just to simply look the part. When I was adding the insignia, I wanted an American flag, but I wanted something kind of for my parallel universe. So I simply used the 13 star flag, but added this sphere in the middle. I like to make all these suits non-historically canon while referencing existing 